Hello everyone and today I'm going to give you an unboxing of the Boardman SLR 8.9 road bike. So I have bought this from Treads Bikes if you couldn't tell, this is probably going to be the biggest unboxing that I've ever done. So the bike is already built, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so that is literally it in the box. So let's get rid of this box and look at the bike. Let's remove this packaging from the seat post. So we've got a red reflector. And I think I need to loosen that with an Allen key. So we've got some basic instructions. Okay, so now let's take off the rest of the packaging. Okay, so, so that is everything. I do need to adjust the handlebars um, and I'm hoping that there will be some tools in the bag. So a lot of you will be wanting to know how much does this weigh? So let's have a look. So I'm going to try and weigh it from the bottom. So I'm going to try and weigh it from the frame. So I'm getting 8.73 kilograms. So slightly under what, it, what the website says, 8.9, but I'm very, very happy with that weight. So the weight is 8.73 kilograms without pedals. So let's have a look what's in this bag. And this is provided by Treads. First thing we have is a return form. Probably won't be needing that. Next thing we have is a manual. Then we have just a sheet of paper which goes over uh, what's been checked. So the brakes have been checked, loads and loads of stuff has been checked. So thank you for Treads Bike for doing such a thorough test. Looks like we have some more legal paperwork here. Just some manuals, gonna put that to the side. Okay, we have a spanner here. Okay, and it looks like we have some pedals included. Uh, we also have a front reflector. Okay, and we have an Allen key set, which is fantastic. And then we just have some coupons and then we get free bike insurance for 14 days. So now let's install the pedals. Okay, so I have built the bike and I've adjusted things to the best of my knowledge. So now I'm gonna take it out on the road and see how it rides. Okay, so I've just been riding it and I'm finding that the chain is skipping. Uh, not too sure why. I'm not sure if this is normal on road bikes. But what I'm gonna do is take it to Halfords and find out what's going on. When I saw the bike at first, I thought that the uh, chain was either a bit too long. I could see it was kind of sagging slightly, basically touching, touching the frame. Uh, I almost thought the chain had actually come off. So under closer inspection, it looks like that the, the rear mech, or what they, I think they call the, the B-screw, isn't quite set right. So in effect, it, it, it's not giving the chain enough tension. Um, so without setting the B-screw correctly, it, it's just in, in the smaller cogs, it, it's just not gonna ride really very well. And plus it could also damage the, the frame and scratch it. So you definitely need to make sure that the B-screw is set up on the rear mech, which clearly it wasn't when it was um, boxed up, unfortunately. If you can see where that screw is there, and as we screw that inwards, that is uh, giving the, the chain the tension that it needs, and that will stop that problem from happening. So uh, literally a 10 second fix. Okay, so got some good news. I took it to Halfords and a gentleman very kindly uh, fixed it for me, but he did some tweaking and it works perfectly now. Also, he did a little bit of tweaking with the handlebar. Um, if I flip around, what I found on my bike, what I found is that when I put my legs in, it was just a bit, it was a bit loose. So all he did is he loosened these ones and then tightened this one and then tightened that back up. And now it's perfect. There is one of the benefits of having a Halfords bike. Um, I'm really appreciative of Halfords for fixing it so quickly and they did it for free as well. So there is my unboxing of this bike. If you are thinking of getting it, I would recommend it. Again, I've only ridden it for a couple of minutes but so far it's been good. I'll be doing lots of videos on this bike in the future. So 
So there is the unboxing and thank you very much for watching.